Oh, okay, thank you guys for joining me in this video. I am going through a range of emotions right now because of all the voter fraud that everybody is talking about. Uh, so, there's Sharpie Gate, there's things happening in Milwaukee that just don't make sense, there's things happening all over the place in this country that don't make sense, and I'm frustrated. I am so used to things like dead people voting, etc., that that stuff, although I don't like it and it makes me sad, I don't get as angry about because I expect it. I expect a percentage of our dead to vote for the Democrats. So, but with all of this going on, I'm just, I'm frustrated, I'm tired. I, I want to see some punishment! So let's go through some of the stuff, just a few of the things that we've been able to see. Okay, so first off, there's Sharpie Gate. So right now it's coming out that Sharpie Gate is nothing, don't worry about it, there's nothing to it, etc. So let's just play this little video clip here. I'm going to try and move myself over so that you can see this a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to play this clip right here and just listen to what's going on. It's only, it's about 2 minutes 25 seconds so it won't take very long. So the people that were in front of me, there were two people in front of me that used the Sharpie yes. that was given to them by the poll workers. Yes. It did not read their ballot. Okay. Yeah. And they flooded in there twice. I used a pen. Yep. Took their Sharpie and threw it away. And it read your and ballot. And it read my ballot. And it read your ballot. And it read my so what they're doing is they're telling people to use the Sharpies that way yeah. those votes aren't counted. Yes. That's exactly what's happening. So there was other people that were in there voting with their with their pens and they literally went around and they were yanking pens out of their hands. Yeah, they tried to do that to me. And I so even though the Maricopa County um, Twitter is saying, no, this isn't true, it still counts, our machines can read it, we've got people on the ground saying it does not read it, and then they tried to take pens away from me in order to use Sharpies. Now I wish they had gotten some video of that happening, but if this lady would, you know, go to the courts and testify, I'm sure we could use that. Um, I want to see some punishment. I cannot stand that this is going on. It is, I know everybody's upset about it, but it just, it, it really burns my biscuit. <laughs> so let's look at some other stuff, right? That's been going on. Let's see. So we've got... Reports of election fraud in Michigan. Michigan seems to be the one everybody's talking about the most. They've got this boarded up so you can't see what they're doing. They've got absentee ballots that don't make sense. Uh, let's see. So they, re they removed an attorney and people were happy about that. So they were helping. So this goes over like what what's wrong with what they're doing what they are doing in some video uh it says news reports are starting to reflect the chaos of the convention center the the detroit free press report thursday morning that a lawyer jessica jessica canarn who was working as a republic poll challenger filed an affidavit saying she was told by someone counting absentee ballots that workers in detroit were changing the dates the ballots were received so they would be considered valid when I approached the poll worker, she said to me that she was being told to change the date on ballots to reflect the ballots were received on an earlier date. So that's not okay. You should have been on the ball, Detroit, and had people working to get these in on time. That's what should have happened. If they were even late, I pretty much doubt they were. New York Post. Here's someone, this came out on August 29th, or yeah, August 29th, so before we voted but this year about how this person did mail-in ballot fraud and it goes right along with what we're seeing okay let me see if i can find yes okay the whistleblower whose identity rap sheet and long history working as a consultant to various campaigns were confirmed by the post says he not only changed ballots himself over the years but led teams of fraudsters and monitored sorry mentored at least 20 operatives in new jersey new york and pennsylvania a critical 2020 swing state 
He says there is no race in New Jersey from city council to United States Senate that we haven't worked on. I worked on a fire commissioner's race in Burlington County. The smaller the race, the easier it is to do. So there's here's somebody telling you that, you know, we've done it. We do it all the time. We do it in every, in lots of different races. And here we go. This is how I do it. The ballot has no specific security features like a stamp or watermark, so the insider said he would just make his own. I just put the ballot through the coffee machine and it comes out the same way. But the return envelopes are more secure than the ballots. You could never recreate the envelopes, so they had to be collected from real voters. He would have his operatives fan out going house to house convincing voters to let them mail completed ballots on their behalf as a public service which I heard this morning is happening right now. So this right here is, is part of a scam where people do this and they go and they vote for you basically. The fraudster and his minions would then take the sealed envelopes home and hold them over boiling water. You have to steam it to loosen the glue. He then would re remove the real ballot, place a counterfeit ballot inside the signed certificate and reseal the envelope. Five minutes per ballot tops. And I'll have all these links down for you so you can go do your own research and I suggest that you do. Don't just listen to me. Do your own research, okay? Then there's this, which is very interesting. This is Joe Biden talking about how the Democrats have created the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in American history. I wish I had some more context for this, but just why would you even say that? Like, what are you doing? And you can, again, I'll have this link in the description so that you can play it. Let me see if I can play it right now. We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. We <laughs> From the man himself. Okay. So voter, voter fraud in Arizona. I know Maricopa County is on their Twitter saying that that doesn't, that the uh, Sharpies don't matter and that they do accept it and everybody's vote counts, but you see people, this uh, lady right here saying that, that that's not true, that they were taking pins away from people and giving them Sharpies. If you accept all of them, why does that matter? Why are you taking pins away from people? Why are you looking for Sharpies to take them up to make sure, you know, really quickly? Like, why does it matter? Just whatever, you know? So, uh, I'm just, I'm not happy. I'm not. And this is a close race, guys. I don't know if you looked at it, but a lot of it's like he won by 1%. And now I don't even know if that's true. I have no idea. Because if it is, great. If everything was counted correctly and there is no voter fraud, as people are trying to say, then, then okay, Biden's the president. I accept that. Let's move on. But we can't know because there's so much cheating going on. You know, I'm, I would be okay with having to go through and vote again. That's what I would do. I, I would be perfectly okay with that. As long as we had a secure system in place. If we just go through and do it again with the same system in place, then it's no good. Um, a lot of people are talking about the software that's being used. I don't think we should be using software. I am more... Uh, I value or I like better where people are physically counting it. Like you can go to them and all your ballots are in a box and they just pour the box out and count it. Now, would it take longer? Yes, it would. Would it mean more people involved? Yes, it would. But I also think that we could stop, excuse me, this kind of thing from happening over and over again if we did it that way. I don't know guys. I think when everything clears out and the shuffle is done and uh, his elect, his uh, Trump's lawsuits are done, Trump is going to be the president because everybody was voting for Trump to begin with. But we'll see. Thanks again for joining me guys. What do you think about what's going on out here? Because I'm just angry. I want to see some punishment. We will be able to cure August.